Hello people of YouTube, my name is John and today I'm going to review a wireless microphone system from Comica. So let's get over to the workbench and take a look. Alright, so here's what we're looking at today. As I said in our intro, it's WM100 multi-channel wireless microphone system. It comes with one wireless microphone with a transmitter and one receiver. And it says that it's good for working on camcorders and DSLRs and smartphones. At the time of this recording, this set is available on Amazon for $139. A quick look at the back of the box reveals some specifications. And you can find all this information on the products page on Amazon, which by the way you can find in our video description below. So let's open the box and take a closer look at what's inside. We have a nice carrying case that has a front pouch that holds all the connectors and cables and all that stuff. And then the larger main pouch has the transmitter and the receiver as well as your user documentation. So I'll get this stuff unloaded and we'll take a closer look at it on the table. All right, so here we go. The owner's manual, which you'll want to read through that. It's going to have a lot of good information, especially if you haven't used these kind of things or you're not used to using these kind of things. You'll want to read through that. This is the lapel mic that plugs into the transmitter and it has a clip on it so you can just clip it onto some part of your clothing. This is a wind cutter for this lapel mic, which will be very useful outside, especially under windy conditions. That's a great thing to have. This is a little shoe converter and what I mean by that is you can screw this onto the receiver and it will allow you to mount the receiver on the shoe on your camera. This is a cable that allows you to run the receiver output into a camera like a DSLR or a camcorder if it has the 3.5 millimeter jack and then this one is for running out of your receiver and into your XLR inputs on your camera. This is the one that I'll be using because this is the type of connection that I like to use on mine. And then these are little clips that you can use to either clip the receiver to someone or clip the transmitter to someone. You get two of those, obviously one for each of these. So we're going to get these things loaded up with some batteries and give them a try. The battery compartments are on the bottom and you just squeeze these two little things together and pull it out. They take two AA batteries each, and they do not come with batteries, which actually is a little bit of a surprise. Usually stuff like this comes with batteries, but that's okay. I have some batteries, and they're probably better than what it would come with anyway. All right, I got my batteries loaded, and I'm going to attach the microphone to the transmitter. Then I'll attach my output to the receiver. These things are, like I said, are pretty straightforward. The transmitter, you have your microphone on. And I do want to mention a couple things here that are extra on these. You'll notice I had to screw in these little attachments. And they do that so it can't be yanked out by accident when you're doing something live. On the receiver, it also has a headphone jack. So you can monitor what you're recording as it happens. That's a nice feature to have. And then on your transmitter, it has a line in. So theoretically, you could really transmit almost anything using this. Looks like a 3.5 millimeter. I'll have to look in the manual, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that it's a stereo input. So you could even transmit music if you wanted to. So pretty cool. So when I said these things are pretty simple to use, this is what I mean. The power switch is pretty straightforward. Just hold it down, it turns on. Hold this one down, it turns on. When they're done pairing, the LED stays solid. It's green, which means go, right? And if you look on the little displays on the transmitter and receiver, you'll notice that they're both using the same channel. It tells you the megahertz right there. And it also shows you an audio meter. So whenever 
the microphone's picking up, let me talk into it, you can see that the audio meters get active. Pretty cool, pretty simple to use. Something that I really like about this particular setup is that there's a battery indicator on both of these. So you don't have to wonder how much juice is left on your batteries. Also, on the receiver, you can see that there's a little indicator as to how many bars you're getting on the signal. That also is very helpful. If you read through the user's manual, you'll find that these little buttons on the face of the receiver and transmitter have functions. And you can use the buttons to activate certain things, like changing the channel, for example. If you're on a channel and you're getting some interference, well, you go to a different channel. It's pretty straightforward stuff. And then, of course, they also have a low-pass filter, which is sometimes used in helping limit wind noise. So, again, read through the manual. It's pretty straightforward stuff. The English portion of the manual is only about, you know, 25 pages or so. You'll always get more out of your products like this if you read the manual. So remember a couple minutes ago, I said something about attaching the receiver onto your shoe, and that's what this is for. So check it out. You uh, screw this in to the back of the receiver. And I'm gonna switch temporarily to my phone camera and show you how this mounts on the shoe. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. This is called the shoe, and this little attachment that I screwed on to the receiver fits on the shoe like this, and then you can screw it down to make it tight on there. Then it's just a matter of plugging in the XLR. In my case, the XLR goes around on this other side of the camera. Okay, so I've taken the camera and microphone outside and I'm sitting here in the quietude of my backyard with the world's happiest birds, which you can probably hear. And I just wanted to have our wonderful camera person pull the camera back and you can see how far away I am, but you can still hear me like I'm right up to the camera. I'm about 15 or 20 feet away. So this is how it works. And according to the manual, the manual says that it can go for something like 100 feet without a problem. Oh, sorry, small correction. It says you can go 100 meters working distance. That's about 300 feet. It's actually a little more than 300 feet. Most people would use a wireless microphone set like this to record something like a wedding, which makes sense. In that case, you're only about usually 50 to 100 feet away, and it would be really good for that. Now what I've done is I'm still using the wireless microphone because I want to give you the full experience, and I'm gonna finish the review using the wireless microphone. Okay, so I've come back inside and I figured I'd finish our review on the better camera in the studio here. And I just wanna say that the ease of use for this system is there. I like the fact that you don't really even have to read the manual to get something out of this, especially if you know what you're doing. Now, not having tested the 100 meter claim, I'm not gonna talk about the range, but I can tell you just from my experience using it around the house here that it'll be fine for anything that I choose to use this for. For 139 bucks, this is a good bargain. If you'd like to buy one, you can go to the link in the video description below and get one there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.